In 2006, Constance Collins Margulies envisioned a community in which people weren't judged on labels. She wanted to heal the unmet need for homeless women and children making the transition from the streets and shelter system into permanent housing. Now, four years later, the Lotus House Shelter thrives in Overtown, a neighborhood bordering Wynwood. Lotus House really grew out of uh, vision to ensure that instead of labels and judgments and blame about women and children who are homeless, we provide them with support, tools, and resources to build a safer, more secure, and better way of life. And our approach uh, in the house is uh, very holistic. The Lotus House offers their residents classes in everything from self-defense to culinary skills and programs from arts and crafts to game night. Margulies feels that this combination of work and play offers residents an enriched experience they would not find in the streets of Overtown. Overtown is one of the poorest, if not the poorest, neighborhood in Miami, which is itself one of the poorest large cities in the United States. and. Uh, you need only drive or walk through the streets of Overtown to understand, in a, in a way, why it was so essential to have a resource center right here in the heart of that need. And from Overtown to Wynwood, Lotus House has truly become a community effort. Almost everything that the Lotus House offers its residents, including food, clothes, diapers, and cribs, is donated by the surrounding community. Really, Lotus House would not exist but for the community. That's reflected in lots of different ways. Sometimes it's the donation of canned goods, um, supplies for our babies, like diapers and formula and um, cribs, uh, strollers, uh, the whole range of baby needs, <laughs> if you will, and maternity needs uh, come to this house, in many cases through donations of in-kind goods. After four years and over 450 women served, Margulies believes the Lotus House community has far exceeded her original vision. This is not my vision. Um, this is the universe unfolding. And uh, it's, um, I was just really taken with the sense of how many people have come together to make this possible and to continue to make it possible every day for every amazing, beautiful spirit, spirit that walks through this door. We've had over 40 babies born since our maternity wing opened, and I think we've served well over 80 children, but 40 babies will call Lotus House their first home. Um, that's a great memory. In partnership with the Lotus House Shelter is the Lotus House Thrift Store. Located in Wynwood, just a few blocks from the shelter, the thrift store supports the shelter and everything it does. Manager Sierra Jones explains. It serves many purposes for the shelter. The main three are raising funds, extra funds for the shelter because during these economic times, it's very hard for any nonprofit to raise money. Um, secondly, it clothes the women and children that are living in the shelter at the time. Past guests and current guests come here with vouchers. They're allowed to uh, have clothing and furnishings for their homes at no cost to them. Um, uh, thirdly, uh, right now it serves as a, a community awareness campaign for the shelter. From clothes to books, everything on sale at the thrift store is donated by those who seek to support the shelter. We get them through, you know, just awareness. People coming in, they hear about the cause, the shelter. Um, they, they like what they hear, they buy stuff and they bring stuff back. Like the Lotus House itself, the thrift store has made its biggest impact on the Wynwood and Overtown communities through awareness. It's, it's uh, changing people's minds about homelessness and our, and our responsibility to, to contribute because um, you never know when you'll be homeless, you know. It's not anything that anybody plans on and says, yeah, I want to wake up and be homeless tomorrow. But it, it is our responsibility, you know, as, as citizens and, and even just living in the community to help those in need and not just let another person lay on the sidewalk.
It's through that awareness that the Lotus House has been able to turn the lives of so many residents around. Every woman that comes to the Lotus House has a different story. Former resident Jackie shares her story. I was taking care of family, my brother, my mother, but the brother passed away recently and I had left my job to take care of my brother. Then I lost everything, so that's how I end up homeless. And after losing everything, Jackie found herself moving from shelter to shelter, not knowing how to change the cycle. But Jackie found that change when Constance Collins Margulies accepted her to the Lotus House. Ms. Constance, I spoke with her, and then I told her my position and what had happened. It was on a Friday, and then she told me to come back, and I came back on a Sunday. She accepted me, and I... Here. Throughout her time at the Lotus House, Jackie has prepared for her transition into permanent housing by attending life skills workshops and self-empowerment classes. She's also built up her resume with experiences like business management classes in order to join the workforce. And now, here today, I can say that I'm very happy. I work for Mount Sinai Hospital. I work in ICU, Blum Surgical ICU. I landed my job almost two months ago, and I'm very happy. And now I'm getting ready to move on. That steps that I came in here for to get me a new job, to get another place, are now in focus, because I kept my focus, and that's where I'm heading now. So now I'm hoping to be moving within the next three months in my new apartment. As Jackie nears the end of her journey at the house, she can now clearly see how Lotus House helped her succeed where no other shelter could. You can do a lot with Lotus House because, number one, you have the time. They give you the time. A year is a, it may not seem like a lot, but it is a lot of time. I think it was, you know, if you wanted something, it gave me mine, my life back, and you have a year to do it. <laughs> All you got to do is pursue it and focus on it, it will come. And that's what happened to me. And I am now feeling back the way I used to feel, back like I belong. <laughs> All these things have helped move Winwood forward.